Son, last time you done that, I lost my eyebrows, had to grow them back. All right, you down here on Highway 90 at Cheryl's Steakhouse. Chuck, we, we, look, we gonna go in there and smell some stuff cooking, you hear me? Shout, do us a favor, baby. Tell us what, one, when you open, and what the, the, the premise of your, because I know there's smoke coming out that, that's what attracted right. us. When, as soon as Harley Ray and I see smoke, it's, it's like, we jones and we gotta come find out what the deal is. So tell us about your steakhouse, man. We're open um, Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 1.30 for lunch, and five to nine o'clock for dinner. Um, we cook on an open pit. All Lots right, now, now, now when did you start that lunch thing? Because we've been here for dinner. I didn't know you did lunch. We started the end of January. Uh, a lot of people requesting it, so. Yeah, they, they cook a fine hamburger. I'm Wait, hold on a second. You. Wait until you see these chips they fry oh. fresh every morning. She's got them in this five-gallon bucket, and she was showing us, and she says, I got to cover them. I said, I don't know why you got to cover them. <laughs> Man, are they good. <laughs> But we're going to show y'all how that That's goes. Exactly right. So Home-cooked french fry. <laughs> I, I mean, a potato chip. <laughs> potato chip. Get, right? Well, it could, you know, a fry and a chip. In England, that, you know, a chip and a fry are synonymous. So it's, that's all good. But if you look behind us, you see Cheryl's. If you look on the side, you don't see Cheryl's. I think the weather done took that away, right? <laughs> that's right. You have, what, you searched up and down Highway 90 and couldn't find it? I did. Me and several employees. <laughs> <laughs> so... Well, Cheryl, how long has this been a steakhouse? It's been here a long time. Um, prior to me, it was 15 years. I've had it open for the last 10. Well, you know, so there was 25 years of steak cooking. Darling, there was a bad right. rumor how you got this steakhouse. Oh, I've, I've heard many of them. You the, the one that got me, me is she got it in the divorce. That's right. <laughs> None of that true. I was never related to them. <laughs> but that makes for a good story. Oh, yeah, it does. It sure does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, you got which end of the fence you on? <laughs> The short the end of the stick. Yeah, right. Or which side of the grill. Either that's way, right. you will look at it. So, um, and what is your specials in the evening? Um, steaks, mostly. Well, okay. <laughs> it's a steakhouse. <laughs> I may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but I figured that out. What kind of steaks? Um, we have everything from ribeye, sirloin, porterhouse, T-bone. Sound, you, you hit all Filet my favorites. Fillet mignon. Now, that's on time. So, um. What, what sizes are you? I mean, if, if somebody comes in big eater, what are we talking about? What can we hit them with? Uh, 22 ounce or a buy. 20, <laughs> 22 ounce. It's a roast. That's I a pound and change. So Absolutely. you hand carve your steaks? I do. Oh man, are you talking top shelf there? That's right. So uh, when did when did you decide, to, man, I'm going to have me a steakhouse. I'm going to run this place. Did you come in and say, I like this place. I'm going to buy it? Or that's exactly what I did. Had you had a restaurant before? No, I was in the catering business before. Okay and decided this is what I wanted. You liked a little bit of it, so you get done gotten a bunch of it now. I like the people coming to me instead of me going out to all the other people. There you go, baby. <laughs> and, and, it's easy and, to and, keep up. And uh, somebody right. said something about desserts around here. Said they were pretty tasty. Did, did they lie to me? No, they didn't. I make all my own desserts homemade. Man, I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't know if my wife should come up in this place. I, my wife and my daughter, their whole body's a sweet tooth. Oh, no. So what's your favorite dessert? Um, mine. My biggest seller and one of my favorites is red velvet cake. Did that, she that say is, red velvet cake? I did. You, you realize that that is one of my favorites. My grandmother, I had no clue. Uh, my grandma mare, used to make it be like blood red. And she makes it with that buttercream, cream mm -hmm. cheese, frosting. Then Green you want to just kind of roll in it. That's right. You know what I'm talking yes. about? <laughs> Whew, that's fine now. So one more time, give them the hours. And can they call in and come pick up? Yes. So give them, the, give them the time, give them the hours, and uh, the phone number, and then we're going to go inside because I saw some smoke rolling. I want to check it out. Uh, lunch is Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 1.30. Dinner, 5 to 9 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. And the number is 875-9922. Man, you, you know, got that? One thing about it, you come down here and eat, and the first thing you do is see your neighbor down here eat. It is a community <laughs> family affair Absolutely. right here. Absolutely. Well, sure. I come Saturday, and I just... I come over here Saturday night and eat, and I think I knew everybody in the house, so. Hold on, time out. That's Hurley Ray Gallant. Everybody know Hurley Ray Gallant. <laughs> the only person that didn't know Hurley Ray Gallant met him last week, so everybody knows him. That, that's saying something. Well, I'm telling you, Father, everybody knows you. Again, this is Cooking with Hurley Ray and Chuck. We're going to go inside. We're going to show you what's going on inside Cheryl's State Steakhouse here in beautiful Highway 90, or as they, what they used to, what do they call it now? Bienville Boulevard. Bienville Boulevard. It used to be highway oh. on either side of Ocean Springs. It's highway name. Bienville Boulevard here in Ocean Springs, downtown Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Come on down and check out Cheryl Steakhouse. Lunch, dinner, 
Come on down and see you inside because we're going inside. We're going to see where that Let's smoke, go check that that smoke coming out. from. Come All righty. Uh, you cooking with Herder Ray and Chuck. We inside now. And Chuck, you're looking, you know, years over here, they always had a brown paper bag with their menu wrote on it. That's because it kept changing. So it, it's been upgraded <laughs> to a, a clipboard now. But so well, why a clipboard? That's a great idea, though. Well, people would be holding the bags up and they'd fall over. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want printed menus. I don't want them like everybody else. I want well, them with our signature. So. Well, again, this is a very eclectic steakhouse. I done figured that mm -hmm. out. When you walk in the front door, you know it's a steakhouse. Well, it, it, you can smell it. You can smell it. I like these appetizers. I mean, simple appetizers. Mm -hmm. We're talking fried mushrooms, grilled shrimp. Well, you know, this we in Mississippi. Got to have grilled shrimp. Mm -hmm. Steakhouse chips. Is that them them chips? Yes. But <laughs> when you get the appetizer, one has got the shredded cheese and bacon bits on top baked. Oh, oh so it's that's one of them that. rib cracker specials is what that's you're it. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and potato skins. How you do your skins? All that's homemade. We take the leftover potatoes, cut them up, bake them. See? The cheese and bacon on them. And all right. Serve Chuck, them with some you know, one of the things they make here that I really like is a potato, potato soup. soup. I'm he telling. just told me about this potato soup for it, about it, a week. It, it, he said, you like like a, try it. It's kind of like a loaded potato, but yet it's in a soup form. It's got a lot of onions and a lot of seasoning in it, and it's just tasty. It's it really doesn't good. sound very good at all. I'm just going to have to buy it well, a Well, you know, like you say about <laughs> your, your thought watering. How long does it take you to make that soup? Because he just raved about it. Um, we cut the potatoes, take them out about a half an hour. All put right. it on the stove when I get here in the afternoon and get and it going. Then, and then by the time you open in the evening, it's ready it's to go? It's ready to go. How many employees do you have? Ten. Ten employees. Ten. Ten. Man, you, you work them in shifts or what? Um, actually, on a weekend you can come in here and there's nine of them working. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll tell you I right like now. To make sure I tell you, they get of. a lot of food out here. And, I, and we was over here, like I said, Saturday night, and, and the food come quick, and, and it was just uh, I, a constant turnover of people. I just Absolutely. can't get over this. If you get a chance to look at this menu, you got ribeyes. You got four choices of ribeyes from eight ounce, which is a nice little cut, mm -hmm. thirteen, a little bit more, sixteen. That's that's a pound. Last time I checked, at least in Louisiana, Still that's is. the math we Still use. Is. And I didn't have to take off my shoes. <laughs> but twenty-two ounces, that's a roast. You're right. That is a roast. You know, she's got a whole ribeye back there. She got that knife, and she looks at you and says, "What size? <laughs> what size you want, baby?" Exactly right. and then you got a ten ounce sirloin, a nice fourteen ounce. You got a you got a one pound porterhouse. I do. Man, Ooh. that's a fine. You know the nice part about that porterhouse? You got that New York strip on one side and that filet mignon on the back side that's with that right. little tail. Yep. And uh, well, you can't you can't have a steakhouse without Philip McNon. I know that's that. And chicken, shrimp. My my, I love my my. You know, that, that, that and tuna, I'm telling you right now, those are two of the best eating fish, especially on a grill. They're beautiful. Oh, they yeah. are. We just started doing the mahi mahi. And, and it's uh, gone over well. Yeah, we was talking about them dry smoked ribs. Tell me about them. Well, um, I just put them on the grill all day long. And then, nah, I can't, just I can't all even do that. We just do it all day long. We <laughs> smoke them forever. Night, they're, ready to, they're ready to go and at a, night. And you serve them dry rubbed, right? Yes, absolutely. See, you ain't got to worry about getting hosed off before you walk out of here. You get them dry ribs. And I know they got that deep smoke. And tell me about, we was back there and we was talking about wood. I know we in the steakhouse, we talking about wood. But you use pecan and oak. Right. The combination, you get a little heat, that nice smoke from that pecan. Yep. You ever substitute any other woods? No. <laughs> no. And, 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 and she's got these shakers back there, and they got secret stuff in them, right? That's right. Oh, and you got and, a paintbrush. You got and, a paintbrush. And, and, and we, we, we just going to that there. next one. I'm trying to get to this first secret. Tell me about this. What's in that shaker? Secret, right? Yes. That, all right, Absolutely. We didn't, that's done. All right, now, and you got a marinade in <laughs> yes. a pot and a paintbrush. That's right. And what's in that? Secret. <laughs> So I'm not that, giving that away either. See, I'm batting a thousand or I'm old for nothing. Yeah, that's more of that good stuff. But, but that's one right. thing I gotta highlight when we get back there, she's got her own shaker. She said when she's cooking, you know, it gets hands get a little moist and all. She had a plastic shaker, it's her favorite one. I don't think she's never gonna throw it away. But it looks like it has been baptized in fire. And we're gonna show you when we get back. So Hurley Ray, let's go to a break and then we're gonna go to the heart of the map. We're gonna oh, go where, man, the, I where can't the smoke wait. is rolling. Yes, indeed. All right? Yes, indeed. If you see smoke and the house ain't on fire, it's Herman Ray Chuck. Come on back and see us here at Shell Steakhouse on Bienville Boulevard. Yes. <laughs> Man, I keep confusing that with Highway but, 90. Better Come known on. as Highway 90, yeah. <laughs> Come on back and see what we're doing. All right. I don't know if I'm get through the line. Okay, Chuck, we, we, we wear the rubber meets the road right here. We got us a fire in the background. Look at what a steak she just cut. I'm telling you, you talking about a fine steak. All right, go ahead. I know you cut it. 
How many ounces was that? Hold that up uh -oh. so we can take a look see. That's a pound right there. That's 16, 16 ounces, ounces oh. of a rib cracker special. Chuck, I think that's a little lamb yap on that one, huh? There's a little more, bit of extra. Yeah, I think I, I think there's a, at least 16 ounces there. I one can pound. assure you that. I, I hate to see what the 22 is, and I don't want you to cut one because it'd be embarrassing to try to eat a roast. <laughs> it's so, big. Remember what I told you about their special hand grip, baptized in fire shaker of her special. <laughs> look at that little doll in there. It's been that, well hey, used, hey, huh? That thing has seen battle and it's still doing its job. It fits me perfectly. But you can't get rid of it. Once you it's in your hand, it's molded. You think that sprinkle of many a steak judge what you're saying, huh? So how many steaks is that that, that season, you think? Um, Ten years worth. Ten. <laughs> That's that has seen more steak, put it this way. The cows in most of the states, if they knew that this was around, would come, it'd be like the Chick-fil-A thing. They'd come in here and bust it up. Because you done cooked a bunch of steaks with that. That's right. So, and here's what, you see this in the back oh, here? you go take a paintbrush and lick it one I just, time. I just want to show you this. <laughs> you see that? That's that heavy-duty marinade. When you, when you got to slather it on with a paintbrush, that's when it's good. Good stuff. And, and she, she ain't told me what's in it. I tried to smell it and taste it, and she said I couldn't have it. Go ahead. Right. You, you want to serve, right. you you serve that ribeye? You're going to up a, a steak here. I am. And what do you call this, a ribeye steak salad? Salad. Ooh, she takes, uh, when well, she done marinated, done turned it three times, it. sprinkled it twice, right? That's right. Marinated it three times, sprinkled it twice. That's that's like, that's the only secret she gave me. She would tell me what was in it. You got to be able to remember it, too. Oh, my right, God. That's a ribeye cut into, and that's a, a steak salad. My goodness, look Ooh. how pretty that is. Man, ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, my The only goodness. thing wrong with that is I ain't I didn't got the fork. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> You can't and, eat somebody else's. And when you, and when you, I know this was your hamburger. Your burgers, right? you grill those, right? That, uh, yeah, that's actually a steak sandwich I'm gonna fix. Oh, that's even nice better. The nice lady over there. Well, the yeah. nice lady over there is getting ready to have a nice sandwich, I. Right? You know, Chuck, this is another time we come over here and uh, we come early where we still place without too many people in it, but we got here a little late today, Man. so. We got Ray, people coming in. How many sandwiches you know you gotta eat half the steak before you get to the bar? That's a sandwich. Yeah. That's what's a your, sandwich. Which handle to start at, huh? <laughs> the, and what about the chips now? Just now, all right, good, good, oh, show the chips. Good. Just gotta have the chips. Now, these Can't chips were fried okay. fresh this morning and then seasoned with, again, she didn't tell me what went on it. I know there's garlic and there's some Cajun seasoning and then some other stuff, but she won't tell me what the complete thing is. And, and we got another order coming in. So you, you look at that and I'm gonna take care of these chips for you. Yeah. I'm just. Just one for you, Hurley Ray. All right, boy, I ain't very much, Chuck. Didn't y'all already do that? Well, twice. <laughs> but but I, I decided I was gonna have to have another one. These things are better than Lay's ever thought about. <laughs> you know, I noticed here on the counter, you got a lot of potatoes, baked potatoes. How many baked potatoes you go through a week down here? About day? 600. 600 <laughs> baked potatoes. <laughs> you got a direct supply from Idaho or what? <laughs> <laughs> They must love you. Damn it, the cows are running scared. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, if you get a chance to come down to Cheryl's Steakhouse, come down for lunch, come down for dinner, you're not going to believe that fire is hot and smoking. She got all these secret things she throws on it. She ain't going to tell you about, but man, they taste so fine. Come down for lunch. I'm going to have to have one of them burgers. I'm just telling you. Absolutely. She get it with shredded cheese, provolone, and pepper, pepper jack. jack. Man, that pepper jack's on time. You know, that you it's hard to find a good hamburger with pepper jack on it. So, and them chips. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you right now, them chips are on time. take a little bag of them thing home, yeah. A bag, if I could get out of here with the bucket, that's where they'd be headed <laughs> to the house. So, look, we're going to take a break, and when you come back, we're going to sit down, and we're going to see about nibbling on some of this fine fare at Cheryl's Steakhouse here on... Bienville Boulevard. I'm still and, and, trying to work on that Highway 90 thing. And Chuck, you know, when they come down here, tell them her red Chuck sent them. So come on back and see what we're doing down here at Cheryl's Steakhouse. <laughs> all right, Chuck, this is the main time of the day we wait for. We come down here and worked all morning, and now we're going to get to enjoy this. But I can't tell you. I'm almost positive Cheryl did all the work, and we just get to watch it. <laughs> you know, I've got pork chops here. This is their luncheon special. You know, like, what did you say? What's about $7.50, 7 About $7.00, yeah, $6.95. Man, you're talking about vegetables, good. macaroni and two, cheese, a couple chops. Yeah, and it's vegetables here. Steamed vegetables, <laughs> two pork chops. Hey, that's almost healthy. Man, I'm <laughs> telling you. Do you have a different menu every day for lunch? I do. Uh, you yeah. have pork I chops? Uh, pork like chops what? is always Tuesday. Wednesday is chicken and dumplings. Oh, oh, oh my now, goodness. Hold on a second. We so got to come back. Slow on Wednesday? Chicken and dumplings. <laughs> Homemade. <laughs> 
that, that's become a good a good one. How long you how long it take you to make them little dollars? I get in here about 7:30 <laughs> on Wednesday mornings and start cooking them until 10 o'clock. <laughs> Holy that's goodness! Like a quick run down through here. Jack, yeah. what you got over there eating? I got me a burger and I got me a little pepper jack on it, which is one of my favorites. You get pepper jack, provolone, and shredded. I saw that shredded going, but. Uh, Tell me about this appetizer here. That's uh, that's the grilled shrimp. The man, grilled that shrimp. Looks good. That, man, that's, gr that's the grilled that's shrimp. That's the grilled shrimp. Salad. Hey, you know, we, appetizer. Appetizer. That's you know what that'd be good with? Oh. I give me the grilled shrimp appetizer with one of the Philip McNons, and I'd be good to go. I give maybe you a baked that. potato. But we talked about that baked potato salad, how good that was. Oh. But I still give us the rest of your specials now. I don't want to cut anybody short. I know we stopped on them. Chicken and dumpling, because we stopped, but I understand that. What else you got? Uh, Thursday, we do a hamburger steak, mashed potatoes, green beans. With uh, gravy? Yes. You put that gravy on? Oh, my absolutely. goodness. Now, what about Friday? And Friday's a grilled mahi mahi. Oh, that's the with, lunch with special? With vegetables. Mm -hmm. Man. Chuck, you're going to go and get embarrassed. They'll run us off. they y'all down here too much. Yeah, yeah. Would y'all quit coming in here? <laughs> so, I, I love that you started serving the lunch. And I'll tell you right now, this burger is on time. I don't even know what it weighs, because. I know it weighs a lot. Mm -hmm. It's heavy in my hand. And uh, I love that smell, that smoke. I mean, that smoke makes all the difference in the world. It does. If you don't think that smoke imparts flavor on meat, you, you're confused because it makes, true it makes all the difference in the world. And I'm one, I, I'm a purist. I'm not a big fan of gas, never been. Mm -hmm. My wife will tell you, I am a kinks for charcoal. Gotta have that charcoal, <laughs> gotta hit it with some smoke. There's gotta be chips on it. It makes all the difference in the world. Yep. You done took it to a, you done what they took it to a new level. You go right from wood to charcoal to smoke right off the kick. That's right. And you, these, these, but you, uh, the potato chips, I could just eat them alone and, and make my meal. We have been. <laughs> That's the problem. We've been eating these things since we got here. I'm gonna tell you right now, these are fabulous. And you cut these every morning and make them every morning? I, I fry them every morning, season them as soon as they come what a out. Shame. They're ready to go. What an absolute shame that you got to come down here and eat fresh made potato chips with special seasoning that she ain't gonna tell us what's on. That's exactly but right. But I'll tell you, it's got, it's got a little Creole to it and, and there's a little garlic, I can tell uh, that now. Right. It's one of, it's just like eating a Cajun breath mint. If you're gonna eat these, make sure the person that you're gonna be kissing on later eats the same thing so y'all can stand each other. And, and these, these are pork chops, you painted them with the paintbrush, right? Do. You like, Anything so, goes on that grill gets painted with that paintbrush. And three and two? Yep, three and two. Well, you know that shaker done seen a bunch of pork chops, too. <laughs> sure, I cannot Absolutely get over right. how beautiful everything is. The presentation, your wait staff is some of the friendliest people. I mean, I come in there, I said, can I get some more tea? She said, darling, you can only have a little bit. She poured a little bit, she walked away. I kind of looked at her funny. she says, somebody got to take a hard time with you. I said, yes, ma'am, I appreciate it. <laughs> but everything's beautiful, it tastes delicious. Thank you. If you ain't coming down here to Cheryl's at lunchtime, you are making a mistake. And again, one more time, just so, because some of our watches is like me, we want to repeat it a couple times. Give us the lunch special starting Tuesday. Tuesday through Friday, it's 11 to 1.30. Pork chops? Pork chops. Chicken um, and dumplings. Wednesday, chicken and dumplings. I got that. Thursday, hamburger steak, and Friday, the grilled mahi. Ooh, man, I'm going to tell you right now. Come on down and get you one of these nice, fine burgers, too. Hurley Ray, I think, you know what? I like this place because it's got smoke. <clears throat> well, one thing about it, you have the atmosphere. When you come in here, you're going to have to eat a steak. You're going to have to eat pork chops. You can smell it. It smells so good. It's a carnivore's delight. So I'm going to tell you right now. We're going to take one more break, and when we come back, we're going to go ahead and close this show up. You don't know where we're going to show up, but you, you see smoke, and the house ain't on fire. It's Hurley Ray and Chuck. Come past me, sure when you come in, tell them Hurley Ray and Chuck sent you. We like to, for the people to know they come down here because they saw us on TV. Yeah, and, and, and don't order any of that potato soup because Hurley Ray's going to come down here and eat the rest of it. So y'all come on back and see us. Thank you, baby. Let's go. Y'all enjoy. Dig in. <laughs> All right, Chuck, we had us another good meal, partner, Man, I'm telling you. I'm going to tell you right now, that, that was crazy good, wasn't it? You know, and it was just the atmosphere in there. It looked like you're supposed to be eating a steak or a grilled hamburger or something. That smell, that smell, I can't get over it. That, the smoke permeates it. And Cheryl, boy, is she a fine lady or yeah. what? You know, and one of the things, that uh, how we fail to bring that out, but uh, as we was talking and eating and enjoying lunch, uh, she told us that most of the employees was her daughter and her son. A I said, and my family. good, a family. And, and, and again, you know how it is. It, it's just like anywhere else. If the owner is there, 
and the family's there, you know the quality is there, and you That's never exactly have a question. Right. And it's, it's going to be the same every time. They consistency. Don't lose. That's right. They don't lose the cook, or the cook didn't come in today. You know, you come here, the owner's cooking. Man, and, and, and the waitress is her daughter. Man, what know? about them lunch specials? Uh, I couldn't believe it. I had pork chops. Uh, I had a, yeah, I'm still wearing them. <laughs> uh, had a great meal. Yeah, $7. I said, hey, you know. The, the part that got me, if y'all, the bad part is we snuck out without having any dessert. Oh, my goodness. She was telling us about her red velvet red cake. Red velvet cake. Oh, my God. You know what? Maybe when we get done shooting, I might <laughs> slip back in there and get me some. That sounds delicious. That's one of my favorites, man. Well, I tell you, we, we blessed with the fact we go out here and do this, and, and the big pay we got is all you eat. You know, you heard about it. <laughs> Hey, we're hey, gonna pay you well, just yeah, eat all, you know. And guess what? It, boy, we got paid in spades today, oh, didn't we? Oh my goodness, it was all so good. I like it that she has those lunch specials. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you come down here for a ribeye, she's gonna hand carve that ribeye. Yeah, hey, she, she gonna look at you and say, that old boy right there needs you. <laughs> <laughs> she puts that little lamb yap on, puts that thumb, it makes all it a little bit bigger. All I know is that 22 ounce ribeye is a roast, that ain't a steak. I'm telling you. I don't know and, too many people could probably eat that. Do and, you? and like I said, when you walk in here, you feel like you're at home. It's yeah. just a, it's a real good atmosphere. You're just enjoying it. You can't see it against that sky, but Shell, I'm going to tell you, that smoke is rolling. And everything is cooked. When you order it, it goes on the grill. That's right. Fresh, and it, you don't have any doubt they're cooking your steak right now. You can smell your steak That's cooking. It. And it, she's got that special sauce. She's got three slathers with that, uh, that paintbrush. Oh, the paintbrush. And two brush. shakes with that. That wool out that, shaker, that, <laughs> that that fire baptism uh, shaker. She says, she says it is slipped. I'm thinking she probably did that so she get a good grip on it, because it's all conformed to your hand. You can't drop that sucker. Uh, what, 600 potatoes she goes through? I tell it, you. Well, you know what it is. She makes them extra because she knows we like that potato soup. Uh, I can't say enough about potato soup. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> well, I, again, what'd you think about that shrimp appetizer? Oh, uh, great. And look, the potato chips. Oh, oh man. I'm telling you. That, that, again, I'm, I'm a, usually when I eat a burger, I don't like fast food, or I'm gonna cook myself, you know. I'm gonna tell you right now, that burger was on time. And the part I like, I like pepper jack cheese. You can't barely get a good burger with pepper jack cheese. My wife likes that shredded, and then you can even get it with provolone. And I mean, man, is them chips on time or what? Uh, and, and just sitting down and smelling a hamburger that's been grilled is a totally well, different than smoke. a hamburger that's been, you know. It, it was either on a flat griddle or, or with a gas, that ain't that ain't where it's at. That smoke just makes so much more flavor. Man, you can't have, and them, bun, them buns is nice and toasty. You know, I can even smell that good smell out here. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I said, man, and again, Cheryl Steakhouse on Bienville Boulevard, better known as Highway 90 yeah, for us, that's run on either side of Ocean Springs. I, I don't know where that place you talking about, but I, I come down here on Highway 90. So look, if you see smoke and the house ain't on fire, it's early red. Chuck, come past a good time. You don't know where we're going to be next week, but I think we're going to be trying to do a little, what they call that, wild game show. Oh, my goodness. We got that coming up. But, Chuck, again, now let's tell them, when you come on in here, tell Cheryl over here, Cheryl, that Hurley Ray and Chuck sent us. Yeah, because you're, you're going to have to wait for us to leave because we're going to be sitting in the back eating chicken and dumplings. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> There's a good chance of it. <laughs> so come come see Cheryl. Come down here and have a good time and get her to cut you a nice steak or get some of them chips on the side. Come on down, and we'll talk to you all later. Y'all be safe.